Ooh-wee, that's a crappy day. Got my core kickle out. And give you a little background on how I wound up with a Veloster N. This is Andrew, also known as Nurse Ratchet. I'm the dude that does the shaky camera videos. Hopefully I'll be getting some action photo pictures. This is my Veloster N, man. I call him Whitey. <laughs> Whitey's my man. This is a fun little car, man. Uh, it really makes you do some bad shit, though. I'll tell you what. Driving through traffic and whatnot. I'm up here on the sixth floor of the parking deck. Medical Center, Central Georgia. I'm parking this thing up here. I mean, I know I'm up out in the elements right now, but it's more it's safer than it is down there. Because uh, some asshole dented the door of my truck, and it's going to cost me like $400 to get it. Or not the door, the bed of my truck. It backed into my truck, man. It's a 10-year-old truck, but God damn it, it's mine. Anyway, up here on the sixth floor, yeah. Macon, Georgia, man. This is an 800-bed hospital I work at. Been here like 20-something years. Because I'm that, just like that. Anyway, man, the reason I got this, you know, I was looking at other cars, uh, and my, my thing is, I was trying to protect the truck, you know, keep the mileage down, so I wanted a good, fast, fun commuter car. They got better gas mileage, of course, than the truck, and that's not hard to do because it's a 09 Titan. Um, pretty much stock. Just a, car, just a truck. You know, it's my, it's my truck, man. I live in the country. But I want to keep it for, you know, a long, long time, so I decided to get a nice, zippy little car to get back and forth to work, save some gas money, keep the mileage down. So first thing I thought of was, let me get a vehicle that's got a good base like a BRZ, WRX, something that, you know, something that hauls ass, it, you know, just is fun. Gets through the corners good. Because that's important to me. I like to drive, man. I've been driving motorcycles my whole life, you know, so I like to turn, man. I mean, sport bikes, you know, not, not just cruisers. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I like those too. But I want something to drive, you know. I'm driving to and from in the country. So, you know, you got to have, there's turns. You got you to gotta do some turning. So started thinking about, you know, say for instance, if I picked up a, well, I actually, I thought about the Veloster R-Spec, you know, with the turbo, it's 1.6, a little smaller than what I wanted, you know, the motor. So I like a two liter, man. I mean, I'm just one of those guys. I like that throaty, deeper sound, you know, the 1.6 starts to sound a little raspy, you know, up in that zone. But I mean, they can, they do good. They do good. I was looking at them. And so I found like an R-Spec for about 14 and started, you know, parting out, you know, what it would take to get it to where I wanted it to be. And I started saying, well, you know what, man, let me poke into these new cars that are coming out now and see what we got. You know, because after you put the money in aftermarket-wise and get your car about where you want it, which to me was 200 plus, you know, good plus horsepower, some better, you know, handling characteristics maybe, things like that. You're over 25, man. You're up in that zone. So... So I started poking around, you know, and of course, I did think about the Honda for a minute, but with all the markups and everything, I pretty much ruled it out, and I, I wasn't super wild about it either. You know, I'm, I'm in my 50s, and I wanted something that was a little understated, so to speak, like this. I love the back of this car, because it really is understated, but it still looks like, hey, wait a second, something's up with this dude. Um... Anyway, uh, so I, I poked in and I, and, and I started looking and I, I was thinking, well, let me go down and see if they have any new uh, turbo Velocers. And honestly, this is a God's honest truth. I didn't even know this car existed. Didn't even know until I started looking at some YouTube videos and realized they'd come out with this. And I was like, well, let me see if I can find one of these because I'm, I'm about 60 miles from Atlanta. And sure as shit, they had Whitey sitting down there at my five-star Macon dealer. They'd originally marked him up to 38000 You know, had a MSRP bump because they wanted some of my money. But I didn't even see that. I didn't even look at the car when it was, you know, thirty eight. dollars um, When I went down to see this car, it had been sitting on the lot for 33 days. And they had reduced it back to uh, MSRP. So I took it for one test drive, man. I was such a fool. I took it for a test drive, and I came back, and I said, I'll take it. I got to get this scratch fixed. Look at that shit. Yeah, it came with that scratch. Some asshole leaned into my car and scratched it. But it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to go by a dealer today and, and tell them we are making an appointment to fix it. But 
you know, I drove it, came back, said I want it. Because, you know, and I, I'm prior military, so I got 500 off for that. They gave me some kind of Hyundai discount, fought another 500. So I walked out with, uh, I think it was 28 something. 28, uh, it's right at 29, right at 29 out the door. And I think that's a hell of a bargain, man. If anybody is looking for, you know, something like what I'm talking about right here, I mean, I don't plan on doing a lot of aftermarket stuff to this car because it's about where I want it now. I, I mean, I'm going to be driving it. I'm going to be driving it in traffic and, you know, stuff like that. So I don't really need to go balls out. I'm, I, I may take it to a track, though. That's the good thing about it, man. It's already set up where if I go to a track, I could probably have some damn good fun with it. So I know people are looking at, you know, taking, oh, sorry, taking these to the next limit le level, excuse me. And that's cool, man. I'll be watching. Uh, I hope it works out. Just be careful because, you know, you got a good warranty on it. It's a fast car. It's really not necessary. If you if you want to build something that's really hauls ass, get a rear-wheel drive, man. Go M2 Performance or whatever they call that. You know, get something that's rear-wheel drive, man, and go all out. Anyway, that's my take on Hyundai Veloster N. This is my car. His name is Whitey. It's a boy. He's got balls. Balls are swinging. And I'm enjoying it. That's my perspective on my car. Laters!